the feast of Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavara, celebrated by the Syro Malabar Church on January 30 and the Roman Catholic Church on February 18, pays rich tribute to a saint from India who has left an indelible mark in the life and mission of the Indian Church. He is remembered for co-founding the first indigenous male religious congregation in India and the first one to found a printing press without foreign aid, first one to found a Sanskrit school, a pioneering educationist and social reformer. Kuriakos was born around February 10, 1805 and went to live and study with his parish priest, Father Thomas Palakal, in 1818. After the completion of his seminary studies, he became a priest on November 29, 1829 in Artonkal, Kerala. Together with Far Thomas Palakal and Far Thomas Porukara, Kuriakos founded the Congregation of the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate, in short CMI, to provide education imparting intellectual, social, economic and moral values. After the death of the co-founders, Kuriakos took up leadership. On December 8, 1855, he made the religious profession along with other ten companions under the name Kuriakos Elias of Holy Family. Kuriakos was the prior general of all the monasteries of the congregation from 1856 till his death in 1871. He also became the vicar general of the Syro Malabar Church. He is gratefully remembered and acknowledged in the Catholic Church for his effective leadership. He is also credited to have edited and published the East Syrian Breviary. He prepared the first liturgical calendar in the Malabar Church in 1862, which continued to be in use until recent times. He was the pioneer of popular education in Kerala and the one who inspired Catholics to start schools in every parish. He counsels to Christian families are given in the form of a testament of a loving father and are universally applicable and relevant even today. He also co-founded with Far Leopold Beccaro the Congregation of the Sisters of the Mother of Carmel for Women in 1866. He died on January 3, 1871 and declared blessed on February 8, 1986 by Pope John Paul Aya. On that occasion, Pope John Paul observed that his success in all that he did was undoubtedly due to the intense charity and prayer which permitted his daily life. Releasing a commemorative stamp on December 20th, 1987, former President of India, R. Venkatraman described Kurakos as the epitome of Indian Christianity at its best and the Malabar Church at its most resplendent. <laughs>